okay so we are going to discuss the third problem of biweekly contest 78 that is maximum white tiles covered by a carpet okay so just, uh, like before solving this problem like before discussing this one so i would strongly recommend that you must have a knowledge of uh, like good knowledge of binary search how we are going to perform the binary search efficiently Okay, so there is not a related topic section present over here, no problem. So you must have to be aware that how we are going to write down the efficient binary search code over here. Okay, so let's begin. If you are not uh, good in binary search, no need to worry about I will discuss all the concept over in this video. So we are given a 2D integer array tiles where tiles of i is li to ri that is the current tile is present in the range li to ri both inclusive and is colored white you are also given an integer carpet length the length of the single carpet that can be placed anywhere we need to return the maximum number of white tiles that can be covered by the carpet ok so we need to put down the carpet of a given length uh, such that it would cover the maximum portion of tiles Okay, so the number of white tiles covered by the carpet should be maximized and we are going to place the carpet uh, in that way so that this value we are going to get is going to be maximum. Okay, I will discuss all those with the help of examples. Let's look over the constraints first. You can see the max length of the array is 5 into 10 raised to the power 4. So it signifies that if even if you are writing a O of n square solution it would not pass because the number of iterations would exceed 10 raised to the power 8 value so you must have to think uh, linear time solution either O of n or you must have to think about n log n logarithmic solution ok that would pass this entire time constraints ok and the very important thing that you are going to have is the tiles are non overlapping ok so like when I was solving the problem the very first time I didn't notice this uh, constraint the tiles are non overlapping so that's why I, I was writing a so much of lengthy code so but uh, but when I realized that uh, tiles are non overlapping then that would become very easy okay so let's understand this problem with the help of examples I'm going to pick up the same example the example one okay so we have a tile from this one let's say 1 to 5 and uh, we have another tile from 10 to 11 10 to 11 followed by 12 18 20 25 let me write down 12 and here we have 18 20 25 and 30 30 20 25 and we have 30 and we have 32 finally ok and we need to place a carpet of length 10 uh, yeah carpet of length 10 so let it be L which is equal to 10 ok so what I am going to do for the very first case is uh, like we need to first sort this entire tiles which is a n into 2 size vector n into 2 size matrix ok because so uh, each tile each tile like the starting position of each tile must be sorted in ascending order then the uh, like we need to find uh, the maximum number of tiles being covered then that uh, calculation would become easy if the tiles are placed sequentially one after the another right because the given input format may contain the tiles whose initial coordinates are not uh, in ascending order and if you are able to sort that you can see the first tile would come over here second tile would come over here third tile would come over here and the starting positions are all sorted in ascending order that would help us in solving this problem efficiently ok now we are going to place a carpet of length 10 so what I am going to do is like I am going to consider every positions every starting position note that 1 10 12 20 and 30 why I am going to do that because so when we are placing the carpet we don't know like uh, from uh, which position we should start placing the carpet like suppose you are going to start uh, placing the carpet from 7th 
position that would lie somewhere over here so even if you are placing this carpet of some length i don't know i'm doing it random so you can see seventh position eighth position nine positions we are not going to cover the any tile at these positions seven eight nine even though carpet is being placed it starts covering the tile from the tenth position and we are not placing uh, like we are not covering any tile for 7th 8th and 9th position so this gives me the idea that whenever we are placing a carpet try to place at the start placing at the starting position of every tile so i will start placing the carpet from the starting position of this tile and it would be of length 10 i am i am drawing it at random okay we would place the carpet at this position and then we would place the carpet at this position then we would place at the carpet at this position like for every index i let me write down for every uh, i that belongs to 0 to n minus 1 we would place the carpet place the carpet such that like left bound of this carpet must coincide with the starting position of the tile tiles of i of 0 which is the starting position like okay so when we are placing the carpet at this position uh, the right bound must be ending at some tile right the right bound this one must be ending at some tile okay so it would either cross two or more tiles or some x number of tiles then end with a certain position we need to find what are the number of uh, tiles that are being covered okay suppose so uh, okay so let me just erase it out and let me just draw the position of tiles suppose you are going to place the tile over here sorry place a carpet over here and uh, uh, here you are we are not considering l equal to 10 let it be some value so suppose we are placing the carpet and the carpet ends over here some position over here then our uh, let's say the right bound is x then the number of tiles that is being covered is x minus 1 plus 1 okay this is the amount of tiles that is being covered suppose the carpet ends at uh, this position okay now you can see the, this entire tile is taken entire let me write down entire tile is taken now this entire tile is taken so 5 minus 1 plus 1 which is going to be added plus this is the remaining part that lies in the empty space so we are not going to consider that okay now consider the tile the right bound of the sorry the right bound of the carpet is going to end at some position over here over here then what we are going to do is we are going to consider this entire tile 5 minus 1 plus 1 plus let it end at this position x then I am going to write x minus 10 plus 1 ok so it gives us the idea that whenever we are placing the carpet the right bound let the right bound uh, coordinate be x so first I will find out total number of tiles total number of tiles which is fully covered which is fully covered by carpet if you are able to find out this number uh, note that x is the right bound of the carpet ok and let me denote it by another color let the count be the total number of tiles which is fully covered by the carpet ok now how to find this uh, count the value this count ok now once we are able to find out that uh, where the like at which tile this right bound of the carpet is going to lie then we can easily find out this value of count ok suppose the uh, suppose that x does not end over here suppose x would end over here this position okay so x will end over this position now uh, count will denote the total number of tiles which is fully covered by the carpet 
okay now you can see this tile is fully covered by the carpet this tile is fully covered by the carpet this tile is fully covered by the carpet okay so there are three tiles and the amount of tiles which is covered is 5 minus 1 plus 1 and uh, plus 11 minus 10 plus 1 plus 18 minus 12 plus 1 these three tiles are fully covered now this tile is partially covered by the carpet so we are going to add x minus 20 plus 1 now how to find out this index g let me uh, sorry we are not going to denote it by z let it, uh, let it be end we are going to denote this position as end how to find this uh, index end which will be the position of that tile where this carpet is going to lie like the right bound of the carpet will lie and all the indexes which is in the range i to end minus 1 uh, let me write down clearly i to end minus 1 are fully covered okay you can see i to end minus 1 will be fully covered how to find that index end note that end is the index okay so the very simple approach is binary search we are going to since we have a sorted array okay so then we are going to bi binary search from i to the end of the array and we are going to find out the suitable index uh, yeah we are going to find out the suitable index j this position i am going to call it as j okay where the carpet is going to be fully covered like carpet covers all the tiles and the tiles are covered fully okay so this is the index j and the j plus 1 index is the end end position where the carpet will lie either partially or don't cover it or like they will cover end at this space or cover it partially for the next time how to find that index g it is simple but a binary search we are going to start from i and you are going to end like your right bound would be start from n minus 1 so let me denote it by let me write down a simple algorithm if you are not going to understand so l start from i and r start from n minus 1 and i will write down while L is less than or equal to R and we will find out the med which is nothing but L plus R by 2 okay and we will check it out whether the you know my right bound uh, yeah initially uh, my end of the carpet that is right bound of the carpet will lie nothing but at this position tiles of I of 0 plus l is the carpet length minus 1 so this is the right uh, right bound of the carpet so i will check it out whether my tiles of mid of the end position is going to be lie strictly in the carpet or not if it lies strictly in the carpet right bound then i will increment l as mid plus 1 otherwise r as mid minus 1 okay we need to find that extreme bound okay and as well as I am going to store j as this uh, like this mid can be out the possible position ok so and finally we are going to get this index g which uh, which is the position from where all the tiles from i to index g are going to totally covered with tiles ok so we need to find out this value all the tile like all the tiles are fully covered so what we are going to do is we are going to write down the store the prefix sum of all the number of tiles over these positions so here only five tiles are placed and here only two tiles are placed and here six tiles are placed so i am going to store the prefix sum the so five seven and thirteen and for any index in the range i to j we can easily grab that prefix sum from in o of one time okay and for this partial length we need to find out this value in o of one time how much the tiles are covered okay so overall what i will do is like i will iterate for each index and fix the left bound of the carpet at the current left position of the tile and try to find out the index g uh, which is the index where all the tiles are fully covered and the next position j plus one and the tile where it can be partially covered or nothing none of the tiles is going to be covered at this position then we are also going to add that number of tiles that is being covered note that all these tiles are fully covered 
we can find out the number of tiles that is being fully covered in O of one time and uh, if you are maintaining the prefix sums of the number of tiles that is present over at these indices. Okay, so let's look out for the code that would help us to understand much better. Okay, so time complexity is O of n log n and space complexity is O of n. So I will initialize my answer as 0 and first I will sort the tiles that would help us in the binary search the suitable position efficiently. So okay, so note that this array ARR is going to store the number of tiles at every position uh, like it is actually the prefix sum of all the number of tiles at every index. So array of i is tiles of i1 minus tiles of i0 plus 1 number of tiles that is present at this current position current index i and if i is positive I am going to uh, sum with the previous position value to maintain the to build this prefix sum ok now for each index I will try to place the left position of this carpet and the right position of this carpet right in would be the left position plus length of carpet minus 1 ok so I will find out the suitable position right ok so how we are going to find out the suitable position right note that in the explanation this right is nothing but this value g ok so don't get confused so I will find out uh, with the help of binary search so this algorithm as I have already explained now uh, when this iteration stops which is nothing but uh, the average runtime of this binary search is log of n we are going to get the answer in logarithmic time so my current answer will be initialized with 0 ok now if right is not i minus 1 it means that you are going to have some uh, fully covered tiles ok so you are going to add up this value number of tiles that are fully covered note that these all operations works in O of one time ok and if right plus one exist and it is uh, like yes right plus one exist we need to find number of tiles that are partially covered so I will add up max of zero comma right in minus tiles of this starting position plus one number of tiles that is partially covered Note that it may also uh, lie the case like uh, tiles are not covered for the right plus one position. Then we are not going to add up zero. That's why I have taken max of zero comma this value. Okay, and finally we are going to in, uh, maximize our answer with this current value. Note that this entire operation uh, we are going to do is for every index i that is fixing the left bound of the carpet for every left position of the tile. Ok, so time complexity is O of n log n and the space complexity is O of 1. So if you guys have still any doubts, you can reach out to us through the comment section of the video and uh, thank you for watching this video.